燒肉同叉燒。係一個誒叉燒飯。叉燒飯。一個燒肉飯。啊，淨係一一碟。淨係一個啊！叉燒定係燒肉啊？啊，兩個。Hey, welcome back to BGC Dreams. Today is day five in Hong Kong, and one that I think will be the most special and probably emotional for me. Today, we're going to go back to my old home in Tun Mun. So I'm going to take Jenny there for the very first time. It's also a Sunday, so we should be able to find more Filipinos who are out and about. Since usually it's a day off for a lot of the domestic helpers, and they like to congregate together. So we're going to try to look for that on some of the footbridges, and I have some ideas in mind in Chun Wan. So we're going to go there, but first let's go to Chun Mun. We're so tired, but this will totally be worth it. We walked 21,000 steps yesterday. <sighs> okay, that's it. This is the last stop, to Moon. After 30 minutes, you were walking here, Jay, every day. I was taking this train every day, yeah. Like all the train stations? Yeah. They all look the same. So once you hop out of a, a train, usually you see a lot of shops. Yeah, yeah. and pretty much they, uh, all the shops are the same too. I love, their, I love their train stations here because you can connect to the Wi-Fi anytime. I don't remember where anything is, so we'll look at the map here. Are you feeling nostalgic, Jay? Uh, not yet, actually, because this looks like any other train station. Uh -huh. Maybe after we step outside. But you can see there's a light rail too, in addition to the subway. And this is actually more like the MRT because it's kind of like above ground where the subway goes under. Um, I've never been to the light rail Let's here. see. What I'm looking for, I don't think is actually here. Let's try the other exits. What are we looking for exactly? We're looking for something called V-City. It's a big shopping mall. So what was it like living in Tun Mun? I'd say it's a little, less convenient because it takes like 30 minutes to get to Hong Kong Island or TST but a lot of people prefer living out in new territories because it's more peaceful. In a ways um, we went to Macau yesterday that gave me some similar vibes like you take Hong Kong you scale it down less density less people and the pace of life slows down quite a bit. Jenny actually just saw it right here oh, so if okay. you point this way so this is what I was looking for V-City so just follow the exit so let's go to V City, find lunch. Okay, peace. We are approaching uh, Toon Moon Town Hall. So this part is interesting for me because I used to take the bus here to get to my home every day. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like Makati a little bit where you have a lot of malls interconnected. Mm -hmm. um, so we're at V City, but it's gonna connect to something called like K-Point. Oh, and that's why there's a sign there. Yeah, so it's it's kind of uh, confusing. I'll show you guys as we cross this uh, bridge right here to get to the other side. Like, if I go through here to the window, you can probably see K-Point. Um, wow. It's right over here. So this is another shopping mall. So that's called K-Point. So usually I get lost in there for a while before I can find the exit to the bus stop. Oh so, yeah, I can see the name K-Point. Yeah. yeah, just want to give Jenny a tour of the area since I used to visit here like pretty much every other day or so. And um, yeah, just take a trip down memory lane. It's my first time seeing a Catholic torch here. Ta-da! Let's see, huh? Interesting. Oh, by the way, I think because it's Sunday, 
I hear a lot of kababayans. Okay, you <laughs> I should. I think it's um, their day off. You so. should engage with them and chat with them some I'm more shy. later. Hi, maybe later. Okay. Uh, what can I say about this area? Well, there was this cute girl that used to hand out flyers. <laughs> she used to stand in the corner just that's around what here. That's you remember, okay? That, that's what I remember most about this area. That's what I will remember in this area as well. <laughs> Jay remembered the cute girl handling flyers. Yeah, she used to stand right here handing out flyers. Too bad it's not a cute girl anymore. Yeah, that's uh, far from it. But. <laughs> Yeah, um, the buildings are not like new development, obviously, right? But later on, when we get to um, the other part of town, I'll get to show Jenny and the viewer where my mom and I used to live. And it actually looks something like this development here. So very tall, I think probably built in like the 1960s or something like that. I think these ones are a little bit newer. Yeah, they look newer. <laughs> And that's just how life is in Hong Kong. You build up. Okay, welcome to Trend Plaza. But you know what, Jade, a nice thing about malls? Oh, look, the price of uh, Hong Kong real estate. Whoa! All right, this, this area looks familiar now, Jay. Yeah, especially this Genki Sushi here. I ate here like at least 20 times with my mom, probably. <laughs> And um, there used to be really good uh, breakfast food. Oh, it's a food court. Here. Should we check it out? Yeah. Well, we haven't had breakfast, so I'm kind of hungry. You can see this area is more like uh, low key, low budget, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's the one thing that I guess kept me uh, gravitated here. Because, like, in our first four days, Jay brought me to Pacific Plaza to, what's that again? Empress? Uh, it, elements. Elements, so letter E. <laughs> And, oh my god, all of them are like high-end malls. Oh, they have Watami here? Will oh, look, card... they have a Watami, Japanese dining, Watami Hong Kong. Will my bistro card work here? <laughs> okay, I'm totally lost. Is that what you wanted to hear? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cafe de Coral. Let's oh, yeah, that. we have to try. Jay said that Cafe de Coral is like Jollibee. This is the Jollibee of the Philippines. Let's try it. Well, I guess it's um, it's around lunchtime, so it's gonna be hard to eat anywhere. There's people yeah, everywhere. Packed. Yeah. Well, you can order here. Do you want this stuff, or do you want something else? Maybe this one. This one? Yeah. We got this last time. Remember? Yeah, lock. Yeah. So you want to have it again? Well. Or do you? But well, we had Hainanese chicken last night. Yeah. So. Yeah. Let's get a combination, so it's too lit. Siu yo, from Chasu. ก็ชาชิปะชาชิปะอ่าจิงเงี้ยเยียดดิบจิงเงี้ยก็อ่าชาชิเกี่ยวสิโลอ่ะอ่าหลังก็ฮะสิซันเพ่งอ่าไข่
Oh, you know the funny thing is here? They used to serve you gailan. <laughs> they don't do it anymore either. It's bok choy. <laughs> okay, let's right. try it. Enjoy. Let's go. Let me try the chasu first. It's like chasu. Mmm. The pork is actually very tender. <laughs> Is it better than the Michelin star one we had on Central? Oh. Yatlock? To be honest, yes. I you like this really better? Like that, yeah. Wow. I don't know, the one at Yatlock, it wasn't like this tender. But good to them though, there were no fats. It was all meat. This one, I see fats, but um. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was better. Uh, for the roast pork. Okay. So this dish you're eating, Jenny, is about 350 pesos or 49 yeah. Hong Kong dollars. So they told me that Copper de Coral is like, you know, Jollibee, the Philippines. So yeah. I have the impression that it has to be sulit. So apparently this is already sulit in Hong Kong. This is very sulit in Hong Kong. Dude, but 350 in the Philippines, that's a luxury already. Yeah. Okay. Like a sulit meal in the Philippines is more than less than 100. So I only see um, actually just one, one lady picking up the trays and um, uh, cleaning the, the tables. So that's pretty impressive, huh? Yeah, very different from the Philippines. Here's a lady. Sit the back. Oh. Yeah, he's the only one uh, cleaning so far. And there's like over a hundred plus patrons, right? Yeah. Okay, we are stuck. Jay, are you full? Mmm, very busy. Uh, yes. 350 pesos, two people. I call that too good. Well, just that's because you're with me. Mm. <laughs> Oh, I hear Major Babayan talking. Oh. Uh, hi. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. What'd you get? What'd you get? So I get the just the original. They actually gave us uh, an ice. Oh, keep so it cold? Yeah, to keep it cold. Okay, that's nice. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Yay! Ta da! Can't believe I'm buying something for Kuya. Back it. Joke lang. <laughs> Sorry, Jay. Look at your drinks. Jay, can you sip? <laughs> it burst. <laughs> What's the verdict? Mmm, that's really good. It's so funny because the store, um, the store there, it says legit. Is yeah. it really legit? It's really good. It's really good. Oh, so it's better than Sam's? It's better than the one we had yesterday, yeah. In, in Macau. Macau. Yeah. Okay. I okay. wish they, I wish I could get this in the Philippines. It, but it really looks good though. I mean, yeah. but it looks good. You want to try it? I know you don't like green tea, but give it a shot. It might change your mind. I still don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> at least, at least she's honest. <laughs> okay, let me try mine. Yeah. It looks good too. Mm. Yeah. I really like their coffee here because they don't put sugar. Okay, lunch done, coffee done. Now we head to my old stomping grounds. Just gonna try to find a way to the bus stop now. So let's go. Hey, Kuya! Remember this day, I bought you a present. It has nothing to do with what we're doing now. <laughs> I just want to say that, in case it gets lost in translation. Town center here, Trend Plaza here. So what Mother and I used to always do is we would head outside here. This was our shortcut. Wow, you still remember, huh? Oh, it's still here. The Gong Cha is still here. It made it. Oh, fond memories.
Oh. You know that little girl, my Mui Mui? Uh-huh. Yeah, this is the day we took her here. And then we spoiled her, we bought her trading cards. And then she thought I was going to steal them from her. <laughs> and I was like, I just bought it for you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Shout out to my Mui Mui if you're watching this. I think you're all grown up now. It's funny okay. how kids think, huh? Yeah. Oh, those doors must be heavy, huh? It is heavy. Okay, good job, Jenny. <laughs> I'm Very trying to heavy. film and uh, drink. I know. I navigate at the same time. Matcha. Okay, so. Oh, okay. This is a Tun Moon Town Hall. And yeah, then you Tune make. Moon Town Hall. You make the turn right over here. Wow. Okay, nostalgia. Memory is flooding must be, back. Must be very nostalgic. Yeah, see, I told you they always hand you uh, flyers and papers here. Instead, it's not a good girl. <laughs> yeah, she's probably married with kids now. Oh. We're just getting lost in Hong Kong. I'm sure Jenny's used to it by now. <laughs> Nothing new here. It's just like the Philippines. Yeah, he'll always say, yeah, it's just around the corner. Okay. Big old thing. It's not here, it's over here. <laughs> Oh, are we riding a double decker, by the way? I hope so, but I also hope the bus stations haven't changed. Otherwise, we might be walking home. <laughs> hey! Okay, so Jenny knows my biggest gripe with the buses in BGC, and it's because they don't have any uh, like signs, so you never know where the stops are. And even more frustrating, you don't know like where it's going, right? Even though the BGC bus kind of only goes to Ayala or Makati, like, it would be really helpful to know where you are and where yeah. the line's going and in which direction. So we want this one right here, 506. Uh -huh. So this is to the Chun Moon Ferry Pier. Uh -huh. You can actually get to Macau from there, even oh. though we went to the Hong Kong Pier in uh, Sheng Wan. This one works too. Oh, okay. But this will actually get off at, um, I think it's called like Melody Garden or Butterfly Beach. That's where I used to live. Oh, okay. So yeah. Are we going there? Yeah, we're just gonna wait in Yay. line now. Okay, let's line up. For whatever reason, it seems like everybody's waiting for the same bus, right? <laughs> Go figure. Yeah, I can feel the province vibes. Oh, yeah. right there. Okay. There it is. Double decker. It's my first time in a double decker. Double decker. Just make sure you have your octopus card. Yes. It's here. <laughs> oh. That was so close. <laughs> We're too slow as always. We're super slow in Hong Kong. We were trying to go up the stairs, but the bus started moving. So maybe after the next stop, yeah. How many stops, Jenny? Uh, there'll be a lot. You'll be fine. I didn't have the chance to hold the handrail. Hey, don't fall down. I know. Let's head to the back here. Let's go to the end. Right. Okay, I feel I feel safe here. Okay, much better. All right, this is what a double decker bus looks like in Hong Kong. Yeah. Nice. How's it compared to the buses in the Philippines? First of all, there's no double decker buses in the Philippines. True. <laughs> and even the non-double decker bus. It's are... nice and aircon, huh? Yeah. The normal bus in the Philippines. Um... No comment. <laughs> <laughs> Philippines, I love you. Oh, Jay, you notice there's not much cars here. Yeah. The streets are empty. I noticed this bus is like brand spanking new too. We put the paint job on this thing. So, Danny, if you want to stop, you hit that uh -huh. red button right there. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like ring the bell. Surprisingly, even if you are at the top, it's not no shading. I usually feel no shaded because I have already known. Must be the coffee. <laughs> oh, to Macau. Okay, we transferred to the front to give you guys a better view since uh, people are getting off. Let's go to Macau and Disneyland. Let's go. We were just there. <laughs> okay, let me try to narrate this. So, oh, that's the next one. We get off the next station. Okay, this is going to be a very short narration. Uh, Nice rail butterfly yeah, station. Yeah, butterfly station. Ah, That's so the one. Yeah, where okay. you live. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, quick narration. Yeah, I used to live here. I love it. You get a great view of the mountains right here. 
and then we're actually near the water as well. It's like kind of a beach, not really. I mean, you can't compare it to the Philippines, but you know, it's still peaceful. The water gives you that nice gentle breeze, the ocean breeze. So they're building new construction here, nice to see. Uh, Jenny said, not many cars, not many people. So it's, you get a lot of peace and quiet. So yeah, no regrets. I really enjoyed my one year living here. And if I had the opportunity to do it again, I mean, I would be more than happy to. It's an amazing place to be. I can so, actually live here, Jay. So this is Tune Moon, and it's very green too. So. I would rather live here than uh, TST and Hong Kong Island because like everything is so busy there. And let's get off now.